My name is David Arthur, and I may not know you, but your eternal salvation concerns me. Before you move on and not listen to me, let me just say that through homosexuality, prostitution, rape, transgenderism, being stabbed, shot at, physically abused, mentally abused, through jail, prison, HIV to AIDS, from being on my deathbed. through homelessness and so much more. Through all that, here I am today to let you know that there's a way out. You know the saying, the truth shall set you free? <laughs> mm -mm. Couldn't be more right. The truth is Jesus Christ and he shall set you free. But you have to take that step. You have to open that door. You have to want out. Because when I tell you that since I was rescued, since Jesus reached down and just yanked me out of the sewers of this world, I've never experienced the peace, joy, and content within myself that I do now. Never. I know that homosexual life is a lonely life. I know all the, well, I was born that way and this is me and this is who I was meant to be. God made me this way. No, God didn't make you a homosexual. Okay? You might have an argument with being born that way because we're all born into sin. We're shaped in iniquity. The devil was at work overtime. He's working double time. That's why I'm going to work triple time. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to fight for what's right. There's no, you can't get to a point where you can say, well, I'm too far in the game. I'm too far gone. I can't turn back now. That's nonsense. That's not true. I lived my life as a woman. I passed as a woman. Okay, I had I was on hormones for years. If I can come back from where I was, anybody can do it. Okay, I've watched others get to a point where people said there's no turning back for them, they're gone. And today they're men and women of God. And they're doing what's right. I understand. I've been there. I've done that. And when I say that, I mean it. Hey, you can't tell me, oh, well, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how I feel. I do. I've been there. From a very young age, up until I was <laughs> much older, I was in that homosexual sin. 
I hate to call it a lifestyle or a way of life because it's not a way of life. It's sin. Just like murder is a sin, would you say that murder is a way of life? Oh, I was born a murderer. It's just a way of life. You know, you think that these urges or these attractions you have are normal. They're not. It's the devil. It's nothing but the devil. I've slept on park benches, in alleyways, in penthouse suites, in beautiful homes, in tents. Okay, I've been up there and down there and everywhere in between. The cocaine and the weed and the crack and the meth and all those other drugs, they didn't take it away. The alcohol didn't help for long. The numerous, numerous, numerous sexual partners. And when I say numerous, we're talking in the thousands. Okay, way more than I could ever figure out. When I was diagnosed with HIV, I was 19 years old. I knew that I was infected when I was 16 years old. I'll be 40 years old this year. Since 2009, going on three years this October, I've just had such a, a joy in me, such peace in me, such a purpose. I've never had a purpose. It's so overwhelming to know that little old me, little unworthy me of nothing means so much to the one true God that he would see fit to rescue me and allow me the chance to rescue you. I just, I don't want to see anybody suffer the way I suffer. There's nothing good that can come out of selling your body, destroying your body. You know, a lot of people don't have an idea of what it's like. to be beaten and raped to be stabbed for somebody to actually want to end your life I have full-blown AIDS can you tell <laughs> I'm undetectable now but three years ago I had no immune system my viral load was skyrocketed way up there. I had an infection in my brain and in my blood. My doctor thought that I would not survive it. I thought that I would not survive it. That's when I just cried on Jesus. And he answered me. And he let, he let me live. He allows the Holy Spirit to dwell in me. To guide me and lead me. To be a light in this dark world.
just know you can contact me, message me. If I don't have the answer, I'll certainly show you where to find it in the good book. All the answers are there. You just have to want to seek and find them. I can't put in words what my life is now compared to what it was now. I recently had a bout with cancer and uh, thank God we've caught it just as it started transitioning into cancer and so next month those it'll be removed and um but I want to explain something to you I don't pray for healing I pray that God takes the brokenness of my life takes these diseases and these illnesses and uses all of this to soften the hearts of those that I come into contact with to help bring them to Christ. I don't say, God, please heal me. Take this away. Don't heal me. Allow it to take its course. Allow me to use this to be a light unto this dark world. You see, God doesn't make things happen to you, but He will allow things to happen. His ways and His thoughts, they're not our ways and our thoughts. And who are we to want to understand? All we do is have to have faith. If you have faith, then it doesn't, then whatever He allows, you accept it. And you're all for it. God is good all the time. And all the time, He's good. Remember that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I've laid with men. I've laid in alleys. I've laid in homeless shelters. I've laid in my own homes, my own apartments. I've been beaten. <laughs> I was I've been jumped by you know, um, hate crime type of jump, you know, like a gang of people jumping on me because I was gay. Um, through everything that I've been through, I try to think of the details because I want you to understand just where I'm coming from. I truly have been there and have done that. You can argue with me till you're blue in the face that you're born that way. God made you gay. It's natural. It's normal. But it's not. You know it's not. The devil has strived to build all of this in society. And I'm going to strive to destroy everything the devil has built. I'd love to do it with you by my side. Just think about it. You know, it wasn't until I accepted homosexuality as an illness, as an addiction, that I really started to understand and get it. Maybe you should think of it like that just know that no matter where you're at or how far gone you think you are there is a way out Jesus Christ sees the truth 
and the truth will set you free. Know that I love you. I truly do from the bottom of my heart, true and pure. I don't have to know you, but I certainly do love you. Feel free to contact me. Visit my website, ibelongamen.com. ibelongamen.com. Work with me. Let's be on the front line, side by side. I love you. Peace.